this probably isn't good. Uh, it's about the second time it's happened to me. <laughs> about the second time it's happened to me in the past two weeks. <clears throat> now, last time I was able to just shut the car off and turn it back on and the messages went away, so I didn't really worry about it too much. Um, but, man, I guess I'm going to have to get this checked out. Good morning, boys and girls. To be perfectly truthful, I had recorded quite a bit before realizing that my external GoPro microphone's battery had died. So most of this is going to be overdub, and for that, I apologize. It was just another hit in a long line of problems. Honestly, I was a bit salty, not only about the C1214 code my Corvette was now throwing, but about the bolt I had gotten in my rear tire. Anyway, so I used my favorite cup for coffee because I knew it was just going to turn into one of those days. Let's get right into talking about my current code issue as I prepare my Corvette. So as I mentioned above, the problem started several weeks ago. It had to do with my ABS and traction control module. I did an onboard diagnostic and it was throwing the C1214 as current. If you don't know how to get the diagnostic screen, see my video from earlier this season. If you wait until it cycles through, you can manually navigate all the codes. The very first thing I did was to do a quick Bing search and several forums came up. For your benefit, any resource I used is in the description below, as are the products I used, most of which came from Amazon. So my research led me to a forum discussing the module that controls the traction control, ABS, and active handling. As it turns out, this is a common problem on the C5 Corvette and that there may be several causes. In addition, I learned that replacing the module may not help as it is a problem associated with the manufacturing of the module itself, meaning that a new module, which can run up to $1,000, will likely have the same problem in a few years. So the forum discusses the fix. You can certainly remove the module and send it to a company like absfix.com, but it also gave instructions on how to pull the module apart and what exactly to fix. Before diving into all of that, and because the module is a much more advanced fix, it is suggested you take a look at your negative points. So the C5 Corvette has a total of 13 ground points, seven of which are located in the engine bay and four of those are prone to corrosion. There are four loop type grounds and two plug types that we will be focusing on here. Now, <clears throat> here is the actual negative that I'm going to be worried about down in here. That's the one that controls the ECBM. There is another negative up here, right here, behind this hose. I'm going to clean that one as well. And then we'll go over to the other side and they are pretty much located in the same spot. One up here underneath this hose and then this one is a little bit more tricky. It's going to be back here it's actually underneath this. So here are the items I used for today's project. Champagne is optional, as is beer. However, you'll need some rust release, electrical contact cleaner. I used rescue tape as well as dielectric grease. I have my ratchet set. I have three wrenches. I found 8, 10, and 13 worked the best. A wire brush followed by this set of carb cleaners I got from Amazon as you can see they're very tiny but they were extremely helpful in terms of cleaning the plug type grounds so it is suggested that you clean these grounds before moving on to pulling your ABS module as this is an easier fix and I'm going to walk you through how I did just that and whether it worked for me or not as a matter of fact, it's important to do this anyway as many electrical problems in the C5 Corvette, especially if they're intermittent as it started out in my case, 
can be linked to faulty grounds and Chevrolet found them to be such a problem that the grounds in the C6 Corvettes were changed. They were now soldered to the chassis. So I just want to quickly say that this did start out as an intermittent issue, which made me believe that the ground points were at fault. It eventually became a more consistent issue and that led me to think that maybe the ground points weren't at fault. So let's get started with the loop type grounds. I'm going to use my rust release to help the bolt move more freely and not risk breaking anything. I'll let it soak for a few minutes before attempting release. Once released, I'm going to spray my ground with electrical cleaner. I'll then use a wire brush to scrub both sides of the negative wires loop. Since this point has three loops, I will make sure that everyone is cleaned following the same process. Before complete reassembly, I'll spray the post with electrical cleaner as well and give that a good scrub. I will then reassemble the loops together, adding dielectric grease right before adding on my nut. It's a pretty simple process and if not for having to remove the battery on the passenger side, it would have been a level 2 on the scale of difficulty. The plug type connector is a little bit different. Seeing as these are the most prone to corrosion, I was expecting to find some little nasties inside. As it turns out, my connectors seem to be relatively corrosion free. Nonetheless, I pulled them apart and used my carb brushes to clean in the connector, again using the electrical cleaner to aid my progress. These connectors also have a loop underneath them and I followed the same process as I did with the other loop type connectors. Before reassembly, I added a little dielectric grease into the connector and plugged them together. I made sure the fit was snug. Finally, using a little rescue tape, I sealed both sides of the ground where the wires go in to hopefully give the plug a better survival rate. When using rescue tape, be sure to pull it as thin as possible so that it can connect to itself and create a snug fit. I then carefully reassembled. I followed the same process as above for the other side of the Corvette. So, as I mentioned before, the Corvette has 13 ground <coughs> points, seven of which are in the engine bay, three connected to the engine itself, and four surrounding. Now, I did not get a chance to find the points on the engine, but I will also place this diagram for you to get an idea of where they are. In addition, I did not worry about the other points because none of them are linked to the ABS module. It had to do really with the one underneath the battery on the passenger side which, as it turns out, was the most corroded of all of my points, but really was not in bad shape at all. So after reassembly, cleaning up all of my work, now it's time for the moment of truth. All right, so this is the first time I am putting the key in after reinstalling the battery. So let's see what actually happens, whether or not this code is still here. Yep, 1214, historic, historic, no codes. So yeah, just pretty much exactly what I expected. 1214 is still showing up, which means I am going to have to tackle the control module. I was really hoping not to do that, but it looks like I got another episode coming up shortly. If you have any questions or comments, I'm hoping everything was fully explained and clearly explained. If you didn't understand anything or you think I may have done something wrong or said something wrong, please just throw it down in the comments. I would certainly address it or apologize if something went wrong. Um, and that is it for this episode, Vedheads. I, again, I'm really sorry it didn't clean, it didn't, or it didn't fix the problem, but it is what it is. Just another episode I'm gonna have to do and keep on chasing this problem. See you soon, bedheads. Hey, bedheads. So, if you made it all the way through this video, I got a little bonus content for you. I am actually at my parents' house and my sister's dog loves me. He goes absolutely nuts. So, uh, he's already outside. He's chomping at the bit through the. Yep, that's him. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs>